Hey guys, it's Miss Stevens. Today's story talks about a soccer game. When people play games, they work together and they have fun. The title of today's story is The Soccer Game. Before we begin, we're going to go over the sounds and how to spell those sounds, and then we're going to review our vocabulary words. So let's get started. First, we have the W sound spelled W-H. Wimpers. While. Next we have the N sound spelled K N. Knox. Now this word is capitalized because it's actually someone's last name. Knocked. Knee. Then we have the S sound spelled with a C. Center, nice, and then we have our double consonant words, soccer, quitter, winner, and then we have our vocabulary words. The first vocabulary word is shot. A shot is an attempt to score by kicking, hitting, or throwing the ball into the net or goal, such as in hockey, soccer, lacrosse, or basketball. So here's an example. The soccer player took a shot at the final buzzer. The next vocabulary word is keeper. Keeper is short for goalkeeper. Um, some people might also say goalie. The, that's the player who protects the goal to prevent the other team from scoring. For example, the keeper jumped on the ball to stop the goal. The next vocabulary word is skin. Skins mean scrapes or cuts. So raise your hand if you've ever skinned your knee or your elbows. I know I have. My younger brother cries when he skins his knees on the playground. The next word is pouts. So th that's what this baby is doing right now, pouting. Pouts means makes a sad face by curling out the lower lip. So can you show me how you pout? My b little brother pouts when he doesn't get what he wants. The next vocabulary word is wing. Now this is not the wing like of a bird. This wing means the far side of the field, usually designated as left or right, depending on which side of the field is being referenced. So, I ran over to the left wing to wait for my teammate to pass me the ball. Okay, the next phrase is state champs. State champs is the best team in the state the winner of the state championship game. Our softball team is playing last year's state champs in the tournament. And the last, the last phrase is run of bad luck. Run of bad luck means to have a number of unlucky events happen. For example, the bus driver was late today because he had a run of bad luck. First he lost his keys, then the bus would not start, and then he ran out of gas. So it means you just had a bunch of bad things happen to you, unlucky things. That's a run of bad luck. All right, so now we are ready to read our story. All right, guys, so first... We are going to go to our table of contents and we're going to look down to the soccer game and we see that the soccer game is on page 44. So I know you don't have your readers, but I'm going to go ahead and flip to page 44 and you guys can read with me if you can or just listen as I read it aloud. The title of the story is The Soccer Game. Grace 
has a soccer game this weekend. It is a big game. If she and her pals win, they will be the state champs. So there's that phrase, state champs. So if they win, that means that they are the best team in the state. At the game, Grace sees her pals, Jane and Kim Knox, and their dad, Mr. Knox. So there's that K-N word, Knox. All set for the big game, Mr. Knox asks. Yup, says Grace, or Grace says. So here we're gonna see a lot of dialogue. I see quotation marks here. And then what type of mark is this? What type of punctuation mark is this? Where my little red dot is? That is a question mark, right. So he says, all set for the big game? He's asking a question. And Grace answers with, yup. And what type of mark is this? That is an exclamation mark. Good, says Mr. Knox. We can win if we bring our A game. So I wonder what Mr. Knox means by we can win if we bring our A game. What do you think he means by that? Go ahead and tell someone at home what you think he means by bring your A game. Very good. So what Mr. Knox means by bring your A-game is to do your very best. So if they do their very best, he knows they can win. So here we are on the last sentence. It says, Grace and Mr. Knox slap hands. So they slap hands. That means that he probably gave her a what? High five. In the game, Grace starts off with a run of bad luck. Run of bad luck. We saw that phrase earlier. That means that bad things kept happening. She keeps missing the net no matter how hard she kicks. One time she takes a shot, but the keeper blocks it. One time she takes a shot, but the shot is off target. One time she shoots, but she gets knocked down and skins her knee. So there's her run of bad luck. Three bad things happen in a row. Three, three times she tries to take a shot and something bad happens. And the last time she skins her knee. So remember, that means that she scraped it or cut it. Ah, Grace yells. So this is where I am right here. Ah. Okay, when you see this word, that, that means that someone's making that noise, that ah uh, noise. So Grace yells, she sits on the grass and pouts. Hang in there, yells Mr. Knox. Get back in the game, yells her dad. A quitter never wins and a winner never quits. All right. So they're telling her, hang in there, get back in the game. A quitter never wins and a winner never quits. Grace whimpers for a bit, but then she gets up and brushes herself off. She runs and makes a nice pass to Kim Knox out on the left wing. Kim makes a pass back to Grace in the center. Grace has a shot. So that means she's able to kick the ball in the goal. She swings her leg, thwack. This time her shot is strong and on target. It shoots past the keeper and into the net. So here's another sound, thwack. So that's the sound of Grace kicking the ball, the sound of her foot hitting the ball. Here we are on this sentence right here. Yes, shouts Mr. Knox. Nice shot, yells Mr. Spencer. Kim and Jane and the rest of her pals run up and hug her. Jane lifts her up. While they are hugging Grace and jumping up and down, 
The horn sounds. Time has run out. The game is finished. Grace and her pals are the state champs. So that means that they're what? That means that they are the best in the state. All right, so I have some questions for you guys. So let's go back to the beginning of our story. Remember, you can always use the text to answer questions, and sometimes you can even use the picture. So the first question says, what will happen if Grace's team wins their soccer game? Who remembers? Tell someone at home what will happen if they win today. Well, we said if they win today, they are going to be state champs. And it says right here in the second sentence of the first paragraph, if she and her pals win, they will be the state champ. So there's our answer right there in the text. Next question. What does Mr. Knox mean when he says that the team can win if they bring their A game? So we already talked about this question. Tell someone at home what it means if you bring your A game. Very good. That means that you did your best, right? It means that you tried your best. How does Grace do at the beginning of the game? Do you remember how she did? Not very good, right? We said she had a run of bad luck. So let's go ahead and look in the text and see. It says in the game, Grace starts off, so in the beginning of the game, with a run of bad luck. So does she start off the game very good? No, she does not start off. It says she keeps missing the net. One time she takes a shot, but the keeper blocks it. One time she takes a shot, but the shot is off target. One time she shoots, but gets knocked down and skins her knee. How does Grace feel? when she does not play well at first. How does that make her feel? Give an example from the story that helps you know. So, how do you think that Grace felt? I hear someone saying sad. I heard someone saying frustrated. That's a good word. She probably feels a mix of those, maybe even a little angry, right? So, what makes us know that the way she's feeling is by looking in the text and the picture. Look at Grace's face. Does she look very happy? No, she looks pretty frustrated to me. And this word right here, when she goes, ah, that tells us that she's very frustrated, right? She also sits in the grass and just pouts. It says she sits on the grass and pouts. So does that tell us that she's feeling kind of sad and upset? Absolutely. What does Grace's dad mean when he says, a quitter never wins and a winner never quits? A quitter never wins and a winner never quits. What do you think she, he means by that? Tell someone at home. Well, what it means is that if she quits, she can't win because she quit. And she needs to keep playing and trying her best and doing her best so that she can win. Because if not, oh, she won't win. She has to keep trying her hardest. All right. So that's all I have for you today. Um... You will do um, activity 16.1, which is the story questions. And you can find that on Google. You can also find that in your workbook. All right, guys. See you later.